Hi people, hello everyone, you welcome back to my channel. I'm Favor Napoleon. On today's episode, we're going to have an interesting time together. You know, this is the best place to get that vibe, that ginger. You know, this is the vibe family. You are all welcome. And if you are here for the first time, thank you for joining the vibe family. You know, this is the place for positivity. You know, when you want to refuel, this is the best place to be. So on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about what I tag. No one should describe you. Mm -mm. No one should call you what you did not call yourself. You know, I just um, finished washing my hair and I said mm, I was supposed to dry the hair. I said no, there is no time for that. I need to come and discuss. I said I needed to just pass this across. So let's, let's do justice to this topic together. So when I, when, when I was growing up as a little child, as a teenager, I noticed that I had a special way of communicating. I had a special way. It takes people of great mind to understand the way I communicate easily, you know? So each time I try to pass my uh, points, um, my views, people t tends to quench me down. I try to still put it out there anyhow. I noticed that people called me names, you know? People just tend to call me things that I did not call myself. Even when I didn't know the difference between right or wrong, people just tend to call me all sorts of names. Some were positive, some were negative. You know, someone who just saw me will say, huh, this child, I don't think this child can go to school the way she's going, you know, because I was a little bit, I was so active. I don't want to use the word stubborn. I don't know if that's the right word to use then. But I was very active. I was an active child. So people just tend to call me all sort of names, all sort of things. Oh, this one, she likes this. You know, she does that. So it took me a lot of um, time to fight that because I did not even know myself as a, as a teenager. You know, you just see people telling you all sort of things. You know, there are people who maybe as, 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 a, as a child, they fight a lot. People just start calling them, oh, you're going to be a fighter. Or oh, you're going to be a troublesome person. You know, people, society just throws every form of word to define someone or to describe you. You know, I, I had a lot of that. You know, even when I did not even know the difference between yes or no, people tend to tell me things. You know, the one that really got to me was the one they consistently, they kept telling me that I couldn't go to school. Even when I was in school, sometimes the, word, the, the words just flashed to my mind and I just began to lose, lose, lose focus. I didn't even like going to school. I didn't, I didn't even like going to class. You know, anytime I'm in class, I sleep, I just sleep off. Why? Because I've already had enough information that people just told me that while I was growing up that, huh, this girl, she will end up not going to school. You know, in life, we shouldn't allow people to define us. In life, we shouldn't allow people's opinion to rule us. You know, there are people that, people just call them, huh, you are a ugly person. You are not fine. Or you, you don't, uh, you, you, you are not intelligent. You know, people tend to describe people. But you shouldn't allow that. Or people just tend to condemn you. Cast their frustration on you. And people who cannot deal with it end up, end up growing up with it. But in life, you have to stand your ground. You have to create your, you have to work on your mind. To define yourself by yourself. There are some girls that people just start calling prostitutes even while they were growing up. So, and they start walking in that line if they are not able to fight it. There are people people have called, oh, this person is going to become a drunkard. And the person eventually became a drunkard. There are people people call, people will tell, um, oh, this person is going to become an arm robber someday. And the person eventually became an arm robber. You know, people just infuse things to, to our mind. You know, it might, it, they might come in different ways. They might even be siblings. They might even be parents. They might even be, 
You know, people that are close to you or people that are not even close to you, you know, everybody have a way they respond to, to information. What you accept is what you put into action. So don't ask what people are saying about you. Ask what you are saying about you. People, you, you, you can only allow people to call you what you call yourself. Nobody should call you what you did not call yourself. Don't allow anybody to call you what you are not. And there are people that we surround ourselves with. Like what I always say most of the times are when you are around people that that was one thing that helped me while I was, I was having those um, thoughts. People kept telling me things like that. I kept friends who, who believed in my strengths. I had, I, I had to go close to people who talked me up. I, was not, I, 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 cho I chose my friends. Any friend who I see that is negative, I don't go close to such people. It's different from someone telling me the truth. That's different. Somebody will tell you the truth. Oh, this is what you are doing. Oh, this, what, this thing, you are always doing it and you, you are not doing it right. It's totally different than someone condemning you, someone trying to impose negativity into your mind. I was so close to my brother. My brother, my brother will always foil my strength. <laughs> Even when the strength is uh, is going down, but you might not have people like that. You know, you might have people who people who are close to you are even the one draining you down. <laughs> that's when the real matter is. So in such case, that's why you have to work on your confidence. You have to talk less with the people who talk you less. <laughs> if that grammar is correct. You know, you have to talk less with the people who talk you less. You have to talk less with the people who talk you down, who condemns you, and who run you down. So you have to build it in your consciousness. No one has the right to define you. No one has the right to put you down. No one has the right to call you what you are not. And the best way to fight it is not by fighting them. The best way to fight it is by producing results. The best way to fight it is by, is by working on yourself. It's by working on yourself. By, so if someone call you, oh, you have a dumb head. The best way to answer that person is to show yourself that you don't have a, a dumb head. By achieving, fulfilling your purpose. Doing things that no one can define that you, you are a dummy. Become what you call yourself. Because what you call yourself is what you act and is what you become. So live your dreams. And the best way is to be confident about yourself. Surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with the right information. Surround yourself, read the right books that will boost your confidence. So the best way to overcome it is by surrounding yourself with the right people. Believing in yourself. Telling yourself that you are not what people call you. You are what you call yourself. And call yourself the right things. Build your life around what you believe about yourself. No one should call you a stupid person. No one should call you a failure. No one, don't, don't give room for anyone to define you. And don't let that affect your mindset. Don't. There's an adage that goes that success is activated by those who dare. Dare to be different. Don't work with people's perspective of you. No matter how close they are, it might be your spouse, it might be your parents, it might be your friends, it might be your partner, it might be your, your fiance or your fiancé. No one has the right to define you. No one has the right to call you what you did not call yourself. Even if they feel, oh, you are a lazy person, laziness can be corrected. If you don't call yourself lazy brother, if you don't call yourself lazy sister, no one has the right to call you that. People tend to condemn people a lot. Though I have come to realize in my journey of life that those who condemn people don't even have the strength to do half of what you're doing, to do half of what the people they condemn are doing. So don't allow anybody to condemn you. Don't allow anyone to bring you down. And when somebody calls you a failure or calls yourself a meme, the best way to, to, to answer such people is not by fighting them. The best way to answer them is by being who you are and be true to yourself 
and reproduce yourself, live your life to the fullest, then you shut them up, not by fighting them. Surround yourself with the right people, surround yourself with the right friends, surround with yourself with people who will help you live your dreams, surround yourself with people who believe in your strengths, who have faith in you, surround yourself with people who will boost your confidence. Don't limit yourself with what people are saying. And there are people who tend to condemn themselves even when no one condemns them. They just tell themselves, oh, I am... I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can, I can make it in life. I don't think I can climb this mountain. They tend to condemn themselves by themselves. Even when nobody or the society has con condemned them, you have to stop condemning yourself. Why? Because you are different. Everyone is special. You can't be someone else, but you can actually be yourself. Just like what I tell people. I say, don't try to be a star. There are so many stars. Try and be the more. We got just one more. So believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Believe you can do whatever you want to do. Believe you can achieve your dreams. No one should come and tell you you cannot if you did not say so. And don't tell people that you cannot. Build yourself. Work on yourself. Have confidence in yourself. No one has the right to condemn you. No one has the right to defend you. No one has the right to call you what you didn't call yourself. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you had a great time. Hope you had a great time. Hope you had a nice time. Please let me know on the comment section. Let's, let's meet on the comment section. Let me, let me know those things that people told you that you couldn't do, that you end up doing. Let's share it together, you know. Let's do justice to this topic together. And promise me you're going to stay happy. See you in the next episode. See you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.